Hey, what is up everyone? Danny and Alex. Today we're going to be talking about some conditioning you can use to improve your endurance, your cardio, your stamina for mixed martial arts. So check it out. All right, this is going to be a short video, but it's something that's super intense, right? So we're going to show you one way you can improve your conditioning using only your body weight, right? So what we're going to use is the exercise, the sprawl, right? So technically that's a technique, but we're going to use it as a conditioning exercise today. So the format is simple. Everyone knows how to do a sprawl. If Alex demonstrate here, boom, right? Stopping a takedown. So you're just sprawling your hips down to the ground by moving your legs away from your opponent. But if we use this technique in itself as a conditioning tool, for a set amount of time, we can increase our stamina or endurance for the sport itself of mixed martial arts. So how we're going to do this is a Tabata style training session, right? So Tabata simply means we're going hit interval training style, right? So basically we're doing a 20 second all out effort and then we take a 10 second time period, right? So we can catch our breath. But if you see that's a two to one ratio of work to rest Right? So what we're going to do is non-stop as hard or fast as possible for 20 seconds, then 10 seconds of rest, but we're going to repeat that whole process. Usually traditional Tabata methods are eight rounds, right? So it's a four minute round, but because we're training for mixed martial arts, we're actually going to do 10 rounds. So that's going to give us a five minute intense round. So of course, if you're ever fighting amateur or professional mixed martial arts, combat sports, you're not going all out for five minutes, right? But it's just to condition ourselves. So imagine this. If in a five minute round, you might have two or three or maybe four bursts of all out efforts during scrambling sessions where you're trying to get back up on your feet or get off the fence or whatnot, and then you're just kind of like moving around do, doing your striking. Well, now if you can actually condition yourself during your training sessions to go all out for the entire round, how conditioned are you gonna get when you get into the fight and it's not as intense, all right? So that's the purpose of pushing ourselves when we're training. So, this time, what we're going to do is 20 seconds of sprawls as fast as possible, and then we're going to take a 10-minute pause, all right? So this, that's the training session. So basically, all you need to do is a timer or a friend or a training partner to time you for 20 seconds to say go, and then say time for 10 seconds. Now, if you're just starting out, you might do the opposite. You might do a 10-second training or sprawls, and then take 20 seconds rest. You do it opposite, right, until you're conditioned enough and maybe you increase that to 20 seconds work and then 20 seconds rest. And once you're used to that, then you can go all out for 20 seconds and 10 seconds off. So a two to one ratio, all right? So it's important to build it up. If you're just starting out in training, you know, take your time, maybe only go 10 seconds, like I said, and take 20 seconds off, do the opposite. And eventually you'll build up your strength. Now, we're gonna use the sprawl. You guys can do different exercises. It could be shadow boxing. It could be like squats, it could be push-ups, it could be a combination of multitude of things. We change our routines around all the time. But right now what we're going to do is just a small example of what it would look like, all right? So say for example, I had a 20 second timer here. I don't have a timer, I'm going to count in my mind. So we're going to go three, two, one, go. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Time. See? So that is the first set, 20 seconds. You see how intense it is. And Alex is breathing hard. He's in great shape, but this is an intense 20 second. And now the 10 second is probably already elapsed and then we go boom again, right? So that's the context of this type of training session. Short video, but I wanted to share it to you guys. A lot of people sometimes ask questions about how can you condition yourselves? for your sport, whether it's boxing, mixed martial arts, you know, kickboxing, Muay Thai, even karate, doesn't matter the martial art, even just as, you know, to improve your own athletic performance or getting in shape. This is great, but once again, I must warn you, because it looks easy when you're watching it, but if you get some space at home or even at your training gym, try this out and you'll see super intense way to improve your stamina for your sport. All right, guys, so there you have it. A good conditioning video, simple but super effective. Give it a try, leave us a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe for more conditioning videos just like this one. We'll catch you in the next video. Take care.